everybody and welcome to another Linux for Programmers tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect a domain to your Linode server. Now, the reason you would want to do this is so that you don't actually have to navigate to your website by typing in the IP address of a machine. Instead, you're going to type in a domain and that domain is going to be connected to the server such that it knows to kind of ask the server for the website and that's where the requests are going to be sent to. So anyways, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. I'm also going to show you how to make it so that your website will run once you close this SSH window. So you may have noticed that when you ran that Junicorn command previously in the last video, as soon as you close this SSH window, your website stopped working. So to make this website continue to work, uh, there's kind of a little trick that we have to do, which I will show you in one second. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to show you is how you can run this website even when your SSH window is closed. So by default, when you type a command and you're SSH into a Linux machine, that command or that process, whatever it is, is attached to your SSH client or your SSH instance. So as soon as you close the SSH window, whatever was running is just going to stop running. So to fix this, you need to use a prefix before this command, which is called screen. Now, I won't get into a ton of detail here, but what screen will do is detach the process from the SSH window such that when you close the SSH window, it's still going to be running. So all I have to do if I want to make this website live when this SSH window is closed is type screen and then the exact same command we did before. So I'm going to type junicorn like that and then hyphen W three and then flask underscore project colon app. So now this should run my worker or it should run my website. You can see it's listening on localhost. And now if I go here and I refresh, all is good. Now watch when I close my SSH window. So I'm going to close the session. You can see this is my website. I keep refreshing and it is still working. If we had not have typed screen, then as soon as I close the SSH window, this website would stop working. All right, so now we need to connect a domain to our Linode. So to do this, we first need to purchase a domain. Now I actually have a domain. This is called timeoutwithtim.net. I had a podcast that I did a while ago that was called Time Out with Tim. And while I purchased this domain and I actually never had any use for it, I never ended up using it. So this is a good uh, purpose for it. I can use it in this video. But yeah, you do need a domain. Unfortunately, I can't give you a domain for free. So you will need to purchase one if you want to follow along. Although I'm kind of going to assume if you're watching this, you probably already have a domain. All right. So assuming you have a domain, uh, purchase it on whatever website you want. I'm using Namecheap. That's just what I've used for a bunch of my domains, but you can use GoDaddy or any other domain provider that you want. And you need to go into the settings of your domain. So go into the settings and then what you're going to look for is name servers. Now it's hard for me to tell you where this is going to be because this will depend on the website that you're on. But if you are in uh, Namecheap here, then you should just be able to go to domain and then name servers. And it's, you know, pretty obvious where it is. So what we need to do here first is we need to change our DNS to be custom DNS. So you might have like, if you're on Namecheap, it might be basic DNS, might be web hosting DNS, whatever, change it to custom DNS. The reason for this is we want to point this domain to our Linode server. So Linode has these name servers that we need to add as the name servers for our domain so that we can manage our domain from Linode. So you'll see that in one second, but the name servers that we need to add here are ns1.linode.com ns2.linode.com and then all the way up to five. So ns3.linode.com, ns4.linode.com, and then finally ns5.linode.com. So once we have these name servers, I'm going to press this little check mark to save these. And you're going to notice that we're going to get some notification that pops up here in a second that says this is, might take up to 48 hours to take effect. Now, it almost never takes this long for your name servers to resolve or for your uh, your domain name to resolve, but sometimes it can take up to two days. So just keep in mind that this is not going to be instant. And if your domain is not working immediately, just be patient. It will work. It's just going to take you know a few hours or potentially a few days. So I won't be able to show you the finished product in this video because, well, we're going to have to wait you know a day or two for this to resolve, uh, but you get the idea. So once we've added these name servers, what we're going to do is head over here to Linode and we are now going to add our domain. So the reason we added these name servers is so that now we can manage our domain from Linode. So now we head over to Linode after we've added those five name servers to our domain and we're going to press create a domain from the domains tab. 
So press create a domain. And then what you're going to do is you're going to type in the name of your domain. So in this case, mine was time out with Tim.net. Now it requires that you put an email in here. So just put whatever email you want. I will just put my business one. So Tim at tech with Tim.net. All right. So now I'm going to press create domain. Now notice that you can insert default records from one of your Linodes. So if you want to do this, this is probably the easiest way you can press insert default records for one of my Linodes, then you can select the Linode. So I'm going to select flask app and then press create domain. But if you know how to insert your own a records, you don't have to do this. If you have no idea what I'm talking about with a records, then probably follow along with this step. All right. So you can see that our domain is now set up. And notice that we have all of these a records that were automatically added for us. So what an a record is, is just an address. So that's all it stands for. It stands for address. So you have a host name, which is like your domain, for example, and then that is going to point to a specific address. So in this case, we're pointing to the address of our Linode server. So we're saying timeout with Tim needs to point to, and then whatever this IP address is, that's going to be the IP you can see right here of our website previously, or of the server that we are running the website on. Now it's important that you have an A record for both the IPv4 address and the IPv6 address. And really the only two you're going to need are these two right here that were automatically added for us. Now uh, you also of course can add www and mail. I'm not going to talk about these ones because we don't really need them. Uh, but if I go to add an A record here, this is how you can add your own custom A records. So let's say you want to add something like a subdomain. If you wanted to add a subdomain, then what, what you would have to do is go into the A records here and you would have to type the name of your subdomain. So say like API or something, and then the IP address that you wanted to point it to. So that would mean if you went to api.timeoutwithtim.net, that would point to and then whatever the IP address is that you put in here. Now you also can point subdomains to different servers. You can point this domain to different servers. There's a lot of things that you can do here. I'm not an expert on a records and doing all this kind of stuff. So I'm going to admit talking about it too much, uh, but this is the basic idea behind adding a domain. So this is actually as simple as it is. You just have to point the domain to Linode. So you have to add all of the name servers in here. You have to wait for this to resolve and then you have to add the domain on Linode and then you can manage it from here. So you can see we have our primary domain. We have our NS records, so our name servers, we have our mail records and our A records. So that's all I have for you. I apologize that there wasn't a ton of content in this video, but that's all I need to show you to add a domain. So if you want to add a domain to Linode, you point the domain to Linode by adding the name servers. You then come in here, create a new domain, and then you manage the domain by changing its A records uh, and any of the other settings that you want. Now, again, you can just use that really simple shortcut that I showed you. So you press, you know, set up the A records automatically, and then it will just add all these in for you. You just wait a few hours, and then you should be good to go. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in another YouTube video.